October 23rd, 2017 at BASF. Doors that are usually locked opened up for several colleagues. This is a milestone in the history of innovation at BASF. For over 150 years, we've been the most innovative chemical company in the world, and we want to keep this position. The biggest single lever for technological progress is digitalization. That's why BASF needs to exploit its potential with utmost consistency and by taking advantage of all opportunities. This involves supercomputers. That's why today is so important as we start our supercomputer, Curiosity. I believe this marks a new chapter in BASF's innovation history. Curiosity was developed and built at Hewlett Packard Enterprise in the USA, which, for project manager Stefan Schenk, was the right decision. BSF chose to buy a supercomputer from HPE because HPE offered us uh, the best solution. The concept that HPE has been providing to us, all the nifty details and the interplay of what kind of components they chose and what kind of experience and expertise they were bringing in, that convinced us. Everything's tailor-made in these high-performance computing projects. There's nothing standard off the shelf, not at all. It has to be checked every time. What is to be computed? What are the expectations? We have different technology platforms upon which you can build such high-performance computers. It is a custom-made solution every time. And that was also the case here. Curiosity's system architecture is based on the latest generation of HPE Apollo 6000 systems which was used in this form for the construction of a supercomputer for the first time. A courageous step, considering the demanding timetable. This is actually the first Article 1 of a new design that we're doing, so it's very exciting for us. Number one, we've never actually built the first machine of such a size before. The Apollo, line. the Apollo line is a special production line that we developed for our customers in research, universities and in a high-performing environment. These computers are distinct in their high density. That means I can fit maximum performance in the smallest space. June 2017. The BASF team arrives at the HPE site in Houston, Texas and, for the first time, sees the supercomputer, which was assembled during the previous weeks. When we walked in here for the first time, after over a year of preparation, the effect was initially, wow, this huge space, the many racks, the many people. I'm very proud that we mastered so many challenges in such a short period of time. And we're on schedule with the project as a whole. An important milestone lies ahead for the team, the LINPAC benchmark test. LINPAC is used for the performance measurement of supercomputers. The result is provided in floating point operations per second, in short, flops, and published in the top 500 list of the world's fastest supercomputers. The benchmark result is highly anticipated. And then it becomes clear. All the hard work of the past months has been worth it. Curiosity exceeds the expectations. It really felt amazing and all of us were really happy that all those months of preparation uh, came to this very, very nice performance value of 1.75 petaflops. Uh, it really felt amazing. I think the most important aspect is that we can predict the expected research results and continue to try to understand more about how materials are built and which structures we need to achieve a certain level of performance. We want to build the best batteries in the world. We want to understand exactly how they should be built. Afterwards, the supercomputer starts its journey to Ludwigshafen because it is from here that Curiosity will provide its computing power to BASF researchers all around the world. Shortly after its arrival, the assembly of the supercomputer is underway at full speed. In a first step, the floor at the data center has been reinforced because the Curiosity racks are so densely packed that each individual rack can weigh in at up to 3,000 pounds. Furthermore, 
energy supply and cooling play a key role. The racks are equipped with special heat exchangers in the doors that we had to connect directly with our cooling water supply. For this, we built our own heat exchanger system, supplied by one of BASF's central refrigeration plants. The trickiest part was the change in the energy system. We had to perform many reallocations, like migrating hardware to other power distributions. That was naturally a challenge for us, ensuring continuous operation. 18 racks, with altogether 888 computing nodes the associated components for data transmission. A total of six petabytes of storage and around 10 miles of cables. Curiosity is simply something special, and the name speaks for itself. The supercomputer was named Curiosity by BASF employees themselves. Through an online survey, 1,500 suggestions were made, and then the best were voted on. We asked our employees and almost 5,000 people chose the name Curiosity. I think the name embodies what we need, the curiosity to find something new and retain our innovative strength. We couldn't have a better name. What's special about the name Curiosity is that nine colleagues suggested this name independently from each other. The most important characteristic of researchers is curiosity, so that they arrive at their invention. Curiosity to be creative, and so one thing led to the next, and then curiosity. Everyone at BSF, we come to work hoping to discover something new, to know something more, to go back a bit more knowledgeable than when you came to work. So that was the idea. Curiosity is driving us. Yes, I now have the pleasure, this is my contribution to the project, to now push the button, at least symbolically push the button, that we started up, and then I would say, curiosity, go! I look forward to researchers coming and telling me what kind of new things they did, what new ideas they have, and how curiosity supported them along the way. I'm absolutely certain that we'll receive plenty of great ideas and projects in the future. I really look forward to that. Boosting our innovative power. BASF's new supercomputer, Curiosity.